paying some massive tech news, one of the biggest uh, tech buyouts, I think, in history, is that Elon Musk has bought Twitter for $44 billion, which is the equivalent of £34.5 billion pounds and about approximately €38 billion. Euros. Um, he had lodged his interest in uh, buying a stake or a potential takeover uh, a few months back. As time has gone on, he's actually approached the board. And in a slightly surprising decision, in the last 24 hours, the 11 person board has unanimously accepted the $44 billion buyout. Now, Elon Musk has said that he thinks that Twitter is censoring too many people, is shutting down the freedom of expression and freedom of speech. And uh, those who are opposed to the deal, are, like Amnesty International, for example, are concerned there could be a rise in hate speech and discriminatory posts and uh, extremist content on the platform. Now, I find Twitter frustrating. Um, I found that, you know, it, it does uh, shadow ban people. It does restrict viewing content. However, it can choose who can post on their platform. Same with YouTube, uh, same with Facebook. If, if you go against community standards, you get a violation. Um, and We'll have to wait and see what Elon Musk does, uh, but there are some grave concerns, and, and there are those who are like, okay, we can actually have a bit more freedom of speech or, or a rollback of censorship on the platform. But what we have seen since the Cambridge Analytical scandal and what's come out about in interference in elections um, in recent years, where Twitter as a platform was used to mislead people with, with misleading facts and figures and, 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 and false statements, in voting to into a particular way is concerning. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. It's a wait and see approach. There's a lot of people threatening to, to leave the platform. Um, some advertisers are threatening to pull their ads off the platform, uh, which will affect revenue. And Elon Musk himself has come in for criticism for the way he just blocks people who he disagrees with and how uh, employees of his uh, Tesla um, basically were told delete Twitter or, or delete posts you put on Twitter or face the sack uh, when they want to discuss the company. Um, so we'll have to watch with a wait and see approach, but $44 billion um, for Twitter. Uh, wow. Uh, I can remember a day before Twitter, before Facebook, before MySpace, um, in the late 90s, early 2000s, before social media. And what, what I felt back then and looking back at that time as an adult now was people seemed happier. There seemed to be less mental health issues, less stress, um, less problems with communicating with people. Um, and, and we'll have to see what happens to the platform. We'll have to see if there's a knock on effect with, with other social media platforms such as YouTube, which obviously I'm recording this video on and, and, and Facebook, Snapchat, WhatsApp, WhatsApp and, and, and other social media platforms that are out there. Um, and what, the market reaction is in regards to uh, share prices uh, and, and investment on social media platforms and we'll have to wait and see what the advertisers are who advertise on twitter what their response is whether they're in favor of a takeover of this nature or whether they're against a takeover of this nature um elon musk is a very divisive figure um but the mainstream media also has some pretty divisive figures who own major newspapers and tv stations so We'll have to wait and see what plays out. Um, there's been a lot of criticism towards the takeover from groups like Amnesty International, and there's been a lot of people in favour of uh, saying that, yeah, some of Twitter's rules and, and, and shadow banning people and deleting people off the platform and, and censoring what people say. I think there's got to be a, a, a mid-ground area, um, but we'll have to wait and see what changes are made to the platform and, and what Twitter employees ultimately feel with a, with a change of boss at the company. So... That's that. Elon Musk has bought Twitter for $44 billion. Thank you very much for watching. Please place your thoughts in the comment section below. This could be a very divisive comment section, so I will try and keep it as clean as possible. That's why we have moderators. Um, but there's going to be some passions running high over this from, from uh, different groups. But there are some concerns about the direction the platform is going to be taking. Thank you very much for watching. Place those comments in the comment section below. And I will have some more videos on this channel for you very, very soon.